Now let us consider equivalence of DFA and NFA. That is how do I convert an NFA to DFA? One important thing to note here is every DFA is NFA. But every NFA is not DFA. See in NFA, I don't have one exact result. But if I have exact result also, it's not problem. Even then it can be an NFA. So I say that every NFA is not DFA. But every DFA is definitely an NFA. Uh, let us take an example. Convert the DF NFA to DFA. If this is the question. And I will consider a simple diagram here. I will do the transition table so that we can quickly mark our tables. Q0 with 0 gives me Q0 and Q1. Q0 with 1 gives me Q1. Q1 with 1 gives me both Q0, Q1 and Q1 on 0 gives null. This is the transition table. Now let us see how do I convert this NFA. Why do I call it an NFA? Because with 0 I am getting 2 results. With Q1 with 1 here I am getting 2 results. So how do I convert this NFA to DFA? Now initially I will consider the start state. I should check Q0 with 0 gives me Q0, Q1. Now, for me, this is a new state. Okay. Till now, in computation, this is my answer. In my answer, did I see such a state? No. So, I call this as a new state. I will do Q0 with 1. Q0 with 1 gives me Q0 with 1 gives me Q1. Till now in my answer have I seen this state? No, I have not seen this state. So I call this as a new state. Now I have two new states here. What should I do here is I should compute states for the new states. So I have Q0, Q1 as my new state. So I say delta of Q0, Q1 with 0 and delta of Q0, Q1 with 1. I will split this as delta of Q0, 0 union delta of Q1 with 0 equal to q0 with 0 gives me q0 q1 union q1 with 0 gives me null so i get the answer as q0 comma q1 have i already seen this state yes i have already seen this state not a problem now uh, i compute for this delta of q0 comma 1 union delta of q1 with 1. Now q0 with 1 gives me q1. And union q1 
q1 with 1 gives me q0 q1 giving me the result as q0 q1 do i already know about this state yes it is my uh, the state that is the, the for which i am computing okay now so i have computed for this state and i did not get any new state here now let us move to this new state now basically it's like whichever new states get generated for those states i'm supposed to be computing so i say delta of q1 with 0 delta of q1 with 1 okay uh, q1 with 0 gives me null q1 with 1 gives me q0 comma q1 do i already know about this state q0 q1 yes it's not a new state i already finished computing now i got this null which is a new state since it is a dfa we compute for all the states here now let us compute for null null with 0 gives me null null with 1 gives me null so now this com completes the computation now first i will do the transition table then i will draw the dfa now let us do the transition table so in my transition table In my transition table, what do I see? So, this will be the transition table for DFA. I got Q0 as one state. Then I got Q0, Q1. I also got Q1 and I also got null. Q0 with 0 gave me Q0, Q1. Q0... Uh, with 1 gave me q1 q0 q1 with 0 gave me q0 q1 and with 1 also it gave me q0 q1 q1 with 0 gave me null q1 with 1 gave me q0 q1 null gave me null only okay now let us draw the diagram with this particular table so initially q0 then after that with 0 I move on to Q0, Q1. This is how I mark it. Then with 1 I move on to Q1. Q0, Q1 with 0 and 1 to itself. Okay. Q1 with 0 it moves on to null q1 with 1 moves to q0 q1 so now this other above nfa is converted to a dfa Now, how do I mark the final state for this? See, there is Q1. Q1 is the final state in my question. So, now, wherever there is Q1, those become my final states. So, basically, what happens here is See, uh, DFA
if an nfa has a n states then a dfa can possibly have two power n states i had two states here in this particular nfa i had two states but in dfa that is q0 and q1 in the dfa null q0 q1 q0 q1 these are the four states that are possible so with if there are three states i will let's say q0 q1 and q2 then in the dfa i can possibly have null q0 q1 q2 q0 q1 q1 q2 q0 q2 q0 q1 q2 these are the eight possibilities with dfa so if an nfa has n states the dfa will have two power n states this is a very important point to remember i will just quickly revise the procedure again i start with the starting state and compute for the input symbols now whichever new state do i get i do not look at what is there in the transition table whichever new state i get i compute for those so here i got q0 q1 now that was a new state q1 was a new state i went ahead computing for those then with q0 q1 i did not get any new state with q1 also with q1 i got null since this is a dfa i cannot leave anything uh, uh, without uh, computing for any state so i computed for null also then with whatever states i am getting i did the transition table and finally with that transition table i did the dfa so to convert an nfa to dfa we need not construct for all the two power n states but only for those states whichever are reachable from q0 we start from q0 and we continue by considering whatever states we get reachable from q0 and then whenever we don't have a new state to compute we stop the construction 